Hi, this is Dr. Race with Advanced Chiropractic. And today I just wanted to talk to you about how to utilize a heel lift. Now, the reason you might have uh, been prescribed to wear a heel lift is because one of your legs is actually shorter than the other leg. And, it, and we diagnosed it on the x-rays. And the reason we want to utilize this heel lift is because if we're adjusting your hips or your low back, your spine, and that leg just stays unlevel, then the adjustments are going to keep going out of alignment. Whereas if we can utilize a heel lift to help bring that short leg up, keeping the foundation, keeping your hips more level, now as we adjust the spine, you're going to hold your adjustments longer and longer. So now we can continue to make better and better progress with your overall health. Now, this heel lift is not going to correct a short leg. However, it's going to help us to alleviate your back pain. It's going to help us to be able to correct other areas of your spine. And so with the heel lift, um, there's, a, there's a number of different sizes of heel lifts. Now, the size we've recommended for you is very specific to the size that we saw on the x-rays that you need, okay? And the side of the shoe you wear it in is very specific as well. So a lot of times what we'll do with the heel lift is we'll actually write on the back an L or an R for left foot versus right foot. Um, and so it's very important that you make sure that you get the right size and that it goes in the correct shoe. Now, whenever you're wearing the heel lift, there's uh, this there's this side which is this soft side and then there's this side which is this grippy side you want the grippy side to go down and the soft side to go up there's a thicker side and a thinner side you want the thicker side to go to the back of your shoe um, and you want the thinner side to point towards your toes so this goes in your shoe, in the bottom back of your shoe, and a lot of times what I recommend my patients do is they actually flip up the sole of their shoe and put this in, and make sure it's all the way back, make sure this part is pointed down, this part is pointed up, and then they put the sole back down on top of it to keep it from sliding around in your shoe. And then that way it brings up the hip, helps to balance out the hip. So as we adjust and as we work on fixing the spine, you can hold your adjustments for longer and longer. Now with the heel lift, initially, possibly for the first day, possibly for the first couple of weeks, it's gonna potentially cause some discomfort because if you're used to walking around with your hips with one leg shorter and your spine's out of alignment like this, and we put a lift in to help balance that out. Now you're walking around. It could potentially cause some discomfort in the hip or low back or knee, but soon it should turn a corner, just like with your chiropractic care. Sometimes you can initially take a step back before you go forward, but it should soon turn a corner where you start to feel better. It starts to feel more balanced, start to feel more level. And then that way we can go on to correct as much as we can, get you healthy and keep you healthy. If you have any questions though, Please don't hesitate to contact us um, or talk to us in the office and we can answer any of those questions. Thanks and I hope you have a blessed day.